Hey guys, it's Melody here, and today I'm going to be doing the TMI challenge. Or is it TMI tag? TMI tag challenge thing, whatever it's called, I'm going to be doing it. <laughs> okay, so the first question is, what are you wearing? I'm wearing this really, really basic, um shirt from forever 21 was like five dollars so i had this on and then this lovely lovely necklace that i got from aliexpress.com and yeah oh and some black sweatpants just because i'm chilling this have i ever been in love yes i've been in love one time and i'm still in love with this gorgeous boy his name is John as you might see in a couple of my tag videos that I already have they're all with him have you ever had a terrible breakup no no terrible breakups for me ever <laughs> how tall are you I am five six I'm um, pretty tall I think I like being I guess it's not that tall never mind but I'm five six <laughs> How much do you weigh? Uh, I weigh 139 pounds, sometimes 140, but I'm going to keep going with 139. Uh, speaking of my weight, I really, really, really want to get in shape and I really want to lose at least 20 pounds. So if any of you guys have a really good workout routine or diet plan, that'd be great. And, and I don't even want to make it a diet. I want it to be like a lifestyle transition. So what are some, if you have any... Um, like really good recipes that are still healthy and so that I can lose this weight because uh, it's just not the best thing in the world. I definitely gained that freshman 20, not a freshman 15, but I gained the freshman 20 and it never went back. It just keeps escalating. Any tattoos? No tattoos for me. Any piercings? No piercings. Oh, yes I do, I guess. My ears are pierced. That's about it. Favorite show? I have a lot of favorite shows. I don't get the uh, I don't really get the opportunity to watch TV that often, um, but definitely Orange is Orange is the New Black is Orange is the New Black is probably my favorite show at the time. Uh, yeah, Orange is the New Black, and then Scandal. I think Scandal's I I like Scandal more than I like Orange is the New Black. So I'm excited for Scandal to come back on. Favorite bands. Hmm. Can we take artist as a band? Well, I'm going to let my favorite artist. My favorite musical artist is Alicia Keys. If anybody who's watching this video knows me personally, they know that Alicia Keys has been my favorite since I was a child. Like, I love Alicia Keys. She's amazing. And I can go on about how much I love her for years, but I'm not going to do that because it's unnecessary. But yes, Alicia Keys is my favorite artist. Something I miss. I'd say I miss high school. I miss high school so, so much. I went to a pretty small high school, so everything and everyone, everybody was pretty much close-knit. Everybody knows each other in my in my graduating class. And, you know, I just had so much fun in high school. It was the best time of my entire life. So, yeah, I definitely go back to high school. <laughs> Favorite song? Hmm. Oh no, I love so many songs. Um, I guess right now one of my favorites that I like keep on repeat is um, Stay With Me or I think it's called Lay, Lay Me Down, Lay Down, I don't know, something like that. But they're both by Sam Smith. Um, he's on the come up from England and he is amazing. Check him out if you ever get the chance. How old am I? I am 20 years old. My birthday just passed. It was on June 27th, and I just turned 20. Zodiac sign. I am a Cancer. I don't really look into the whole horoscope Zodiac thing. That's not really my thing, but I'm a Cancer because I know I'm a Cancer. <laughs> Quality I look for in a partner. I look for... Definitely manners. Um, chivalry cannot be dead in my world. Um, manners. I love being. I love guys that are very humble and can make me laugh. So yeah, yeah. My favorite quote. Oh, I have a lot of quotes that I say all the time, but I don't know which one is my favorite. 
Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We gotta skip that one. I don't know. Favorite actor. Hmm. Favorite actor is so hard because they're so cute and I just want to love all of them. But a couple of my favorite are definitely Austin Butler. And he played the role of Sebastian Kidd on a show called The Carrie Diaries. I don't know. It's on Netflix if you haven't seen or heard of it. But his name is Austin Butler and he's dating Vanessa Hudgens or something right now. He's a Adorable. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. So I like him. And then, of course, Theo James mm, from, uh, what was he from? Oh, from Divergent. He's so cute. And then when I found out that he was British and he was holding up that American accent that whole time through the movie, I was just like, oh, <laughs> going crazy. So yeah, those two are pretty cute. So I like them. My favorite color is black because black is the best. I don't know what. Well, not like black people, but like the actual color black. I love the color black. If I could, I would wear black every single day of my life. I think I got that from my dad though. Loud music or soft music? I don't know. That one's hard because like everybody likes loud music and everybody loves soft music. It just depends on what time or whatever you're doing at the moment, which one you'd prefer. So, of course, if I'm sitting in my room at night, I'd probably prefer a nice slow jam or, you know, a nice slower song. But it just depends on where I'm at, how I feel. Where do you go when you're sad? I go to my bed and I either cry or I listen to music or I just think and lay there and just am alone because that's what I'd rather be doing when I'm sad. <laughs> How long does it take you to shower? 10 to 15 minutes when I'm showering in the morning. How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? I need at least an hour. At the very least, I need an hour. And that includes my shower and makeup, hair, everything. I need an hour. So, yeah. That's ever been in a physical fight? No. I've never been in a fight ever in my life and I don't ever plan on it. <laughs> uh, turn on. A definite turn on for me is smart. I love, love, love smart people. So if you're really, really smart and you could teach me something, like, ugh, I love you because I love smart people. So that's always cool. Turn off for me is anyone that's cocky, like, get out my face if you're cocky. Like, ugh, that's probably like one of my biggest pet peeves, cocky guys or cocky people in general. It's annoying. Um, also, a turn off is a know it all. Ugh, oh my gosh, know it all is really good under my skin. Like if if you're wrong and you still insist that you knew that you were wrong or something, I'm just speaking from personal experience right now. But know it alls get under my skin. I don't like know it alls, so that's a turn off. The reason I joined YouTube, I joined YouTube because there were so many people on there that I really liked and it looked really fun to interact with people and make videos and I also was getting a lot a lot of questions on like my Instagram page and stuff like how do you do this what do you do there and it was getting like crazy to just keep replying in long 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 text messages I'd rather just say oh I have a video on YouTube you could just check that out instead of me having to like type out everything that I do for my hair or my skin or anything like that so that's why I joined YouTube because it looked really fun and also just to learn like I love when people comment on my thing and tell me oh you shouldn't do that or maybe just you know telling me a recommendation or a suggestion that they might have whatever problem I might have or anything like that just to learn and to be a part of the community of natural hair people and skincare people so that I can make new friends and all of that good stuff I just I just like networking and meeting with new people so that's why I'm here here's I'm scared of everything Pretty much everything. I can't even, the list is so long of things that I'm scared of, I'm not even going to go into it. But I hate bugs. Um, I hate flies. Like, I have the biggest phobia of flies. Like, oh my gosh, just thinking about it makes me itch because I cannot stand flies. So flies is a big one. I don't like spiders either. I don't like any insects, but flies really get under my skin just because they get into your house and they're just... Ugh, ugh. Okay, that's enough. Um, the meaning behind my YouTube name. Well, um, my, my YouTube name is Melody Miller Music, and that's because this is an old account that I made uh, a long time ago. Those of you who know me personally know that I used to sing, I guess professionally. Um, you know, I used to sing in D.C. and in New York and L.A. and travel, and it was really fun. I did that throughout high school. Um, 
So I used to be a singer. But I stopped um, probably when I was a senior is when it slowed down for me, I guess. Yeah. Um, and so this is an old account that I used to have my singing videos and then I deleted them all and now it's my hair YouTube channel. So that's the reason behind my Melody Miller Music YouTube name. The last book that I read. Um, the last book that I read is this. It's called Style Statement. I know you can't, you can't see it, can you? There we go. There it is. It's called Style Statement. And this book was introduced to me by my sister slash mentor slash girl I'm in love with because she's so perfect. Um, her name is Tara and she's also my boyfriend's sister. I loved this book. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. When you read this book, it's going to help you put yourself into two words. I know that sounds weird. You should look at it. You should look into it, but it's putting yourself into two words. One word is going to be 80% of you and then the other word is going to be 20% of you. And if you had the book, you'd understand more often, but this book is good for anyone at any stage in your life. So, for me, this book was a coming of age finding out what type of woman I want to be. Um type of thing and you know it could work for a 40 year old mom who feels as though she's lost herself and her her sense of creativity and she wants that fire back in her life this book will definitely help you get back on track with who you are and who you want to be um it's beneficial to any woman of any age and i definitely recommend this book the last last show that i watched was orange is the new black on netflix my favorite food mm. That's a nice question, isn't it? I have a lot of favorite foods because I love to eat. <laughs> uh, I like pizza. I think pizza is like the ultimate favorite food for me, um, as well as macaroni and cheese. But pizza takes the cake because I always want pizza at any given time. Don't ask me, do you want pizza? Because I will. <laughs> I always like pizza, so pizza is my favorite food. Place you want to visit. I want to visit like Tahiti because I actually I'll take anywhere where the water is blue and clear because here in on the east coast of America uh, we do not have the cleanest prettiest clearest water here so I want to see blue blue water or clear water any type of water that's just not ruddy green and brown um, so yeah but Tahiti's probably a really really nice place that I want to visit so yeah one day last time you were insulted I don't really know. I don't really take, like, keep track of when people insult me, so I'm not, I'm not sure. <laughs> my favorite piece of jewelry is my necklace. It's a key um, that, of course, John gave me for our three-year anniversary, and it's really, or was it two-year? I think our two-year anniversary, he gave that one to me, and I wear it pretty much all the time. This is, like, one of the first times I've taken it off to wear another necklace. But, uh, yeah, it's a key. I wear it in all my videos. Like, I probably have it on every single video I have on YouTube. So, um, yeah, that's my favorite piece of jewelry. Favorite chat-up line. What is that? What is that? I don't know. I hope that allows you guys to see or find out a little bit more about me on the personal side, because I know you guys didn't really don't really know much about me as a person. So yeah, I hope that gave you a little insight into my world of being Melody. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!